It used to be on TV, and he used to show you how you can make birds and, and mountains and rivers with just a few dots. The point is, is that you need multiple dots to form a picture. With just one dot going to the bathroom a lot, we can't really form a picture. I can give you some, I can give you some, some educated guesses, diabetes, blood sugar, urinary tract infections, etc. But we need more dots. So number one, you've got to find some other health conditions, health sample points uh, that we can put together to form a picture. Secondly, drink more water. My guess would be that your body's trying to eliminate sugar, especially if you're telling me that you're eating a lot of sugar. So drinking more water can help, uh, it can help dilute your blood sugar. And you're still going to go to the bathroom a lot, but at least you'll be peeing out the sugar. And then thirdly, make sure that you're getting your water-soluble nutrients because as you're urinating, you're going to be losing the B-complex, which is extremely important for all all energy and all ener- all cellular energy, uh, vitamin C, which is important for everything, the primal panacea, as Dr. Thomas Levy calls it, and then the electrolytes, which are your electrical nutrients that are responsible for helping control and conduct electrical energy throughout the body. So three strategies. Number one, look for other sample points. Number two, drink more water. And number three, make sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It wouldn't hurt you to get some sugar metabolizing nutrients like maybe um, magnesium and the sweeties from longevity as well, chromium, vanadium, magnesium, taurine, choline. Lean B vitamins, niacin, thiamine, they're all very important for blood sugar control. Okay, I hope that helps you, Fatina. i got to move on. Did you have anything else you want to say? Actually, just one quick thing. I do sure. have low blood pressure. So do you okay, think so have... we're starting to put a little picture here together. We're starting to put a picture here together. Yeah, the low blood pressure could mean a lot of things, but the drinking more water can help you with your blood pressure. Uh, low blood pressure could mean that you're not, for whatever reason, you're not producing enough uh, blood proteins. You're not holding on to water in the blood. Uh, you're not making enough albumin. These are all signs that there may be something going on in the liver. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and tell you that you've got a liver problem. You're, you're kind of young for that. But the combination of low blood pressure and sugar problems with sugar and urinating does have does point to the liver, um, and it wouldn't be unusual for you to have, for, you have a liver problem, even though you are kind of young, because 30% of Americans do have liver problems. So before we go into that, though, see if the water helps, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, um, and then if you could find some other sample points in addition to the liver and the sugar. But the liver, indeed, could have something to do with blood sugar problems. That's, that's what it sounds like to me, just from the scant information that I have. If you want to collect some more data points and sample points with health, especially digestive health, and give us a call back, and maybe we can give you some more specific advice. Okay, Fatima? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. God bless. All right, uh, my buddy Leo in Oregon. Where you been, Leo? Long time no talk to. Hey, what's up, man? What's I hope going you can on? hear me okay. Hear you great. Am How I... you doing? I'm doing great, man. Um, I wasn't doing too hot there for a while. I, I remember uh, you had a... Happened. Didn't you have some kind of parasite or some kind of bacterial infection? What was going on? Giardia, was it? No, no, no. I just, you know what? I just uh, pretty much dropped off. Uh, I dropped off the, the wagon as far as eating healthy. And uh-huh. uh, you went back to and, your fruits. Uh, Did you go back to your uh, fruits and your fruit juice? You know, I went back to. Um, you know what? I just ended up. You know, one day saying, you know what? I can't do this on my own, and I prayed about it. And uh, two days later, I got sicker than a dog, and uh, I took advantage of. I took advantage of that uh, of that situation, and. What I ended up doing was uh, going on a 48-hour fast. Oh, wow. And I have been eating uh, healthy for the last month. And, and? I broke down and got some essential fatty acids uh, with the uh, Udo's blend. Okay. And um, I've been taking that, and I've been taking my multivitamins, and I've been eating I've been eating uh, uh, lots of salads, and I've been not mixing proteins, trying to stay away from the starches as much. And, and you know, with the whole fruit thing, I have cut down on my fruit intake, but I've started to buy organic. And there's a huge difference between the organic mangoes and just the, the other regular mangoes. I How see, so? like, like uh, black, I'll find, like, uh, gray spots in the flesh of the mango on the regular ones, whereas... Huh. Not um, on the organic? On the, on the organic, I have never found that. And they oh, taste so much better. Leo, we got about a minute. We got about a minute. Let me. See what do you got for us here? Any, anything going on? The can we help you? That, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Got, we're down to like 60 seconds, though. Okay. The other thing I wanted to say is that I had a dandruff problem, and um, I w- once I started taking the EFAs mm. and um, all my the the D E A and K vitamins, yeah, uh, the dandruff thing has has vanished. I awesome. With like in a week, I had. To, awesome. and I mean, I had really bad dandruff, and That's within awesome. a week, my my scalp just cleared cleared right up, man. You know, dandruff is a skin condition, and skin conditions, the skin, and we'll talk about this on Monday uh, a lot, actually, for the next couple of days, the skin is very dependent on fat. 
skin conditions like dandruff, like acne, like eczema, they're all related, uh, like psoriasis, they're all related, are very, very dependent on the skin in general, and uh, these skin conditions can be reversed pretty darn quickly, as you say, Leo, within a week or so, by making sure you're getting enough fats and, con- and making sure that you're absorbing your fats, too. A lot of us don't absorb our fats as effectively. That's awesome news, and that, that just validates and corroborates everything I've been saying, and everything I will be saying next week as well uh, about fats and the importance of, of using dietary fats, essential fatty acids, and fatty vitamins to help support the growth and division of skin cells, whether they're on the face or on the scalp. Dandruff is a skin condition of the scalp, and the same kind of way, the same uh, uh, nutritional strategies for dealing with skin conditions like, like zits or eczema or, rosace, or uh, uh, psoriasis apply to dandruff as well. Thanks so much for sharing that. I appreciate it, Leo. And I want to try and get one more call, buddy, and I, I, oh, that's all the time we have, I guess. That's the music. Thanks, Leo. Appreciate it, man. God bless. And again, I apologize for leaving you on hold. I told you you got to call in earlier, you guys. Try to call in at the beginning of the program. I know it's hard to hold on for an hour, but it's much easier for me to, to time the calls if we get, a, get all our calls at the beginning. Uh, if you guys call in at the beginning of the program. All right. We will be continuing our talk on cysteine and connective tissue, and we'll be going to be focusing on the skin and nutrients for the skin. Uh, the skin is a very large repository of the amino acid cysteine. And we'll tell you about fats and fat soluble vitamins and how important those can be for all kinds of skin conditions. That's on our next Bright Side episode. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Take care. We'll talk to you all later. Bye. Bye. The state of our drinking water today is worse than at any time in human history. Studies show that most drinking water contains heavy metals, aluminum, chromium-6, agricultural, and industrial toxins. If you get regular headaches, migraines, chronic pain, foggy thinking, fatigue, or nervous system malfunctions, you may have a buildup of these harmful toxins. This week at WaterWebinar.com, in an all-new free webinar, Earth's most powerful cleansing secret is being revealed. Use it to neutralize inorganic particles like lead, aluminum, arsenic, and even mercury and remove these accumulated poisons from your body. These toxins accumulate in your body over time and can cause many problems. You can get them out. Go to waterwebinar.com now and sign up for free to find out how to turn even the worst tap water imaginable into pristine water with powerful healing properties. It's your body, your water, your freedom. You have a right to drink pristine, clean water. Come and claim it. Go to waterwebinar.com now. That's waterwebinar.com. Go now and sign up for free. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com.